media giant Snapchat, along with Facebook and Google, rolling out a partnership to combat what's become known as the fentanyl crisis. One of our guiding principles is to go take our message to young people where they are. And that's social media. Ed Ternan, co-founder of the Song for Charlie organization, who lost his son to a fentanyl poisoning in the spring of 2020, explaining why there's a critical need to spread the message about fake prescription pill dangers. Helping them understand how this problem is different and new. Pills designed to look like commonly used prescription pain or anxiety medications are being purchased directly from social media apps. The millions of teens and young adults who use the apps and purchase pills from them largely unaware that an estimated 25% of the fake prescription meds that arrive at their doorstep are laced with lethal doses of fentanyl. They are selling uh, counterfeit prescription pills that are designed to look just like something that kids think are familiar and safe. Families that have lost loved ones to fentanyl poisonings channeling grief into action by partnering with the social media giants in hopes information about fentanyl dangers leads to prevented deaths. So if we can tell the kids that these fentanyl pills are everywhere, we're hoping we can open some eyes, change some minds, and save some lives. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.